cosmology underwent a monumental shift with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope on Christmas Day 2021. Since its deployment, this advanced telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos with its impressively sharp, high-resolution infrared eyes. James Webb has peered back into the earlier stages of the universe, providing us with sharp, pristine, and beautiful insights into the formation of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems, including our own solar system. However, the capabilities of James Webb have surpassed expectations. Astronomers anticipated discovering infinite galaxies, yet the telescope unveiled an unprecedented number of them, some of which defy conventional understanding. These early galaxies, discovered by Webb, challenge our current models of cosmology, raising questions about the origins of the universe and the validity of established theories. As we delve deeper into the distant universe, our expectations are challenged. We anticipated observing a gradual decrease in the number of large galaxies as we journey back in time, yet James Webb's discoveries present a different reality, with a plethora of unexpected galaxies, some even older than the universe itself. By probing these ancient galaxies, we are essentially asking the universe about its formative years and how it evolved into its present state. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with spectroscopic capabilities, allows us to test our existing models of the universe, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and potentially reshaping our understanding of cosmic history. The significance of James Webb extends beyond its ability to capture stunning cosmic phenomena, it is rewriting the narrative of our cosmic origins. Projects like Webb, Sears, and the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey are uncovering galaxies dating back billions of years, challenging our preconceptions and expanding our view of the cosmos. One remarkable discovery is Maisie's Galaxy, named after the daughter of researcher Stephen Finkelstein. This galaxy, dating back 13 billion years, defied conventional expectations with its brightness and hue. Its existence challenges our fundamental understanding of the early universe, illustrating that our cosmos is far richer and more complex than previously imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope's remarkable capacity to discern extremely distant galaxies stems from its utilization of the infrared wavelength. This wavelength is crucial for observing galaxies that have receded significantly due to the expansion of the universe. While the Hubble Space Telescope, primarily operating in the optical light wavelength, had previously detected a few of these remote galaxies, its observation was limited. This limitation arose because as galaxies move away from us, their light shifts toward longer, redder wavelengths through a phenomenon called redshift. Consequently, their visibility in optical light diminishes, necessitating observation in the infrared spectrum. Hubble's instruments strained to detect even a small number of these distant galaxies. However, the James Webb Space Telescope swiftly surpassed these achievements. Within days of initiating its scientific operations, it identified a multitude of exceedingly distant galaxies, far beyond previous expectations. When scientists discuss these galaxies, they often refer to their age rather than their distance. This approach is due to the challenge posed by the expanding universe, which complicates traditional distance measurements. For instance, consider Maisie's galaxy, which is described as being 13 billion years old. While the light from this galaxy has traveled for 13 billion years to reach us, the ongoing expansion of the universe means that it is currently much further away than its age might suggest. The James Webb Telescope's near-infrared spectrograph facilitates more precise age estimations by analyzing spectral lines. These lines allow astronomers to determine the galaxy's actual redshift, a measure of its distance and age. Initially estimated to have a redshift of 11.8 based on photometric observations, subsequent spectroscopic analysis revealed a redshift of 11.4, placing it among the four oldest galaxies confirmed by spectroscopy. These discoveries challenge previous models of cosmology, suggesting that galactic formation likely commenced earlier and proceeded more rapidly than previously thought. The presence of galaxies mere tens of millions of years after the Big Bang implies a swifter emergence of massive galaxies than initially hypothesized. This has profound implications for our understanding of dark matter and the formation of early universe structures. While these findings have not invalidated leading cosmological models, they underscore the need for further investigation and refinement. James Webb's observations have unveiled a universe that is far richer and more intricate than previously envisioned, reshaping our understanding of cosmic evolution. As scientists continue to probe the cosmos with this revolutionary telescope, they anticipate further revelations that will deepen our comprehension of the universe's origins and evolution. The brightness of a galaxy is intricately linked to its mass because a galaxy's luminosity largely emanates from its constituent stars. By assuming a certain average brightness and mass for individual stars, astronomers can estimate the total mass of the galaxy. 
This master-light ratio provides insights into the distribution and types of stars within the galaxy, helping astronomers understand its evolutionary history and formation. Astronomers can make rough estimations of a galaxy's overall mass. However, much of the modeling conducted by astronomers thus far has led them to believe that galaxies couldn't have accumulated such massive sizes in the relatively short time since the universe's inception. Huno, an associate professor of astronomy at Pomona College, likened this discrepancy to encountering a teenager in a kindergarten classroom. Until recently, most galaxies were categorized into two main types, spirals, characterized by disk-like structures with spiral arms of dust and gas, and ellipticals, which appear as smooth, spherical masses of light. However, astronomers had previously assumed that galaxies from the early universe would lack the structured classification seen in modern galaxies. The observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope challenged these assumptions. Some of the early galaxies it detected exhibit remarkable structure and brightness, resembling galaxies observed in the local universe. This unexpected level of structure and luminosity has prompted astrophysicists to question the age of the universe itself, as the presence of such massive galaxies in the early universe contradicts previous models. One researcher has proposed that the universe may be roughly twice as old as previously estimated, suggesting an age of approximately 26.7 billion years. However, this hypothesis remains controversial, with no consensus reached among scientists. The discrepancy between existing models and observational data may be attributed to factors such as the role of dark matter in the early universe or unaccounted for forces influencing galaxy formation. Even before the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists recognized that the early universe was vastly different from the cosmos we observe today. During this epoch, galaxies were predominantly composed of hydrogen and helium, shaped by the influence of dark matter, and hosted massive, short-lived stars. The absence of heavy elements in the early universe underscores its distinct chemical composition compared to the present-day cosmos. Furthermore, the earlier stars, known as Population 3 stars, differed significantly from their modern counterparts. These primordial stars were larger, hotter, and bluer, emitting more ionizing radiation due to their elemental composition, devoid of heavier elements. Although no Population 3 stars have been directly observed, astronomers speculate that the James Webb Space Telescope may provide the means to detect these elusive celestial objects, offering invaluable insights into the universe's formative years. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope has been designed to revolutionize our understanding of the early universe. The tantalizing evidence it has gathered brings us closer to uncovering the enigmatic first stars of the cosmos, offering a glimpse into the universe's distant past and shedding light on the fundamental processes that shaped its evolution. The discussion of billion-year-old history may initially appear abstract, but it holds significant relevance for understanding the universe as we perceive it today. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled capabilities, is providing unprecedented insights into the cosmos, shedding light on aspects previously obscured. This deeper understanding is crucial for comprehending the origins and evolution of celestial bodies, including our own Milky Way galaxy. Astronomy operates on such vast timescales that direct observation of objects like galaxies across their lifespans is impossible. To study the development of galaxies, astronomers must scrutinize distant and ancient counterparts, akin to baby pictures of the Milky Way. This endeavor is fundamental to unraveling the intricate processes underlying the formation and evolution of galaxies, offering critical insights into our cosmic origins. Moreover, the quest for extraterrestrial life has taken an intriguing turn with NASA's revelation regarding 17 discovered exoplanets potentially harboring subsurface oceans beneath thick sheets of ice. These worlds, reminiscent of the icy moons of Jupiter, present promising prospects for detecting biosignatures, chemical signs of life. Despite their frigid surface temperatures and lower density compared to Earth, internal heating mechanisms, fueled by radioactive decay and tidal forces from host stars, may sustain subsurface oceans. Cryovolcanic eruptions, akin to ice volcanoes, could further indicate geological activity and potential habitats for life. In a remarkable development, scientists have uncovered Mars's atmospheric dynamics, revealing a transient event where a portion of its atmosphere was temporarily whisked away into space. This event, observed by NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Maven, orbiter, underscores the dynamic interplay between Mars and the solar wind, offering unprecedented insights into the Martian atmosphere's response to solar activity. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond mere scientific curiosity, informing our understanding of planetary systems, habitability, and the broader mechanisms shaping our universe. 
As we delve deeper into the cosmos, each revelation serves as a stepping stone toward unraveling the mysteries of existence, challenging our preconceptions, and expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. The recent atypical episode observed at Mars, courtesy of the MAVEN orbiter, marks a significant event in the annals of Martian atmospheric dynamics. This rare occurrence, the first of its kind in nearly a decade of MAVEN's mission, unfolded when a swiftly moving region of solar wind overtook its slower counterpart, effectively sweeping away Martian atmospheric material. The resultant sparse region reached Mars on December 25, 2022, providing scientists with a unique opportunity to witness the planet's atmosphere expand, akin to its hypothetical state orbiting a less turbulent star. This unexpected event, described by MAVEN team leader Jasper H. Ollison, offers profound insights into the delicate interplay between Mars and the solar wind, furthering our understanding of the intricate forces shaping planetary environments. Such discoveries fuel the growing intrigue surrounding Mars's past, present, and future as a potentially habitable world.